Hello everyone, my name is Tim Tang and we're coming to you from the NAX 2022 trade show floor. I'm here with Peter Wagner from Leighton O'Brien. Peter, the current way of testing sump pumps, the integrity of sump pumps, is hydrostatic testing. Can you tell us a little bit what happens in that? So, so currently, t uh, sumps are hydro tested where you go and put water in the sump to look for leaks. It's a one hour test where you need a, the, the level cannot drop more than one eighth of an inch. But if you have a leak, you have to pump the water out, find this leak, and put the water back in and retest the sump. So that's the norm in today's standards. What's what's wrong with hydro uh, testing? Well, the water um, becomes contaminated because it's been in, in the sump and how you have to pay to dispose of it. So it's environmentally not very friendly and very costly. And so is there an alternative? What would you uh, recommend instead? So, so, so the new way of doing it is the dry sump method. It's a fantastic test. Mm. So you put some vapor in the sump, you put a one of these next to the dispenser and draw a vacuum and by using a laser we can then see if the sump is tight or not in the fog. Excellent. Can you give us an example of what yeah, that might look yeah. like? So, so if we're testing and we look inside this box once with the, for the fog we're looking for a laser dot but if we actually have a line, a pencil line, that means the fog has come into the sump into the box and is not passing the test. We have a leak. There you so go. A one minute test. Excellent, excellent. So there you go. Uh, today's norm is hydrostatic testing of sumps to see if the, the, to test the integrity of the sump. The problem with that is the water has to be disposed of. It's contaminated with fuel. And now we have a new way, a dry sump a test. I've been speaking with Peter Wagner from uh, Lake O'Brien and we're coming to you from the NAX 2022 trade show floor. Thank you everybody.